I just never dreamed that this kind of support was out there, and it really is, it, and you don't have to look that far for it. That's what a Madison County mother is learning months after she first talked to RTV6 about her son's struggles. Now, thanks to her efforts, there's a new group that's meeting monthly, offering support and giving advice. The common connection, the LGBTQ community. RTV6's Cornelius Hawker reports from Pendleton, where he found no matter where you live, you're not alone. This sign greeted everyone who came out for the first gathering of the queer and trans families, allies, and friends meeting in Pendleton. Inside, acceptance and a safe space. We're just kind of coming together as a community to talk about what it's like to have friends and family in the LGBTQ community and answer questions and just talk with each other and learn as much as we can about how to support them and be there for them. Since the beginning of this year, Molly Downey has been determined to make sure she knows the best ways to support her son Gage, who is gay. I need support to know how to support him. And there's nowhere to go to get that in a small town such as Pendleton. But that's now changed. All these moms spoke about their experience with either having a child that's gay or transgender, sharing personal stories that were very similar to each other's. Hearing these people speak had a positive impact on Brantley Bailick. We're all in the same boat, you know, and we can all get it through together and just find solutions and know that I'm accepted still and not just by my friends, but, you know, people that I may not know. Studies have shown supporting LGBTQ youth like Brantley and his boyfriend Gage set them up for a much better life. You know, it's okay to reach out. It's find people that accept you and feel comfortable with and you'll just be happier. Molly tells me that's all she wants for her son, his boyfriend, and all the young people who are LGBTQ to be happy. She hopes this group will help with that. We're just some parents that got together and said, hey, let's do this and let's be there for each other. And if we're going to be there for each other, we might as well invite others in and be there for them as well. Working for you in Pendleton, Cornelius Hawker, RTV6. Queer and trans families, allies and friends will be meeting once a month in Pendleton. The next meeting is August 19th. Info on where it is and how to contact them, we've put that on your screen. We'll also post it for you in this story on the RTV6 app.